we finished from here. So what I did was to set the core values. I had a list of them, like long core values. I told my children, we now have family core values. I, I included respect, forgiveness, like um, other sister has mentioned, and other things as well. So I, because um, Pastor Chika to, talked about, um, like she told her children, before leaving home, you need to make up your bed. So I told my children, bedtime is 9 p.m. in this house because before the holiday, it used to be earlier than that. But I, I just told them, during this holiday, your bedtime is 9 p.m. And 9 p.m., it means you're not watching anything again and everything. And because she, in Pastor Chica, used exemption, like, except mommy, uh, except mommy, if she's, you know, because mommy has to do this, because and at least we need to... Um, explain the reason why mommy is exempted. So I told my children, except mommy. Mommy is not going to bed at 9 p.m. So, and I explained that uh, because I would need to stay back to read my Bible to do this and that. So when it was 9 p.m., I'm just trying to, my, I've got, I, I've got like a question with mine because after setting all these core values, how do we, how do we make sure that, you know, like this um, positive punish and discipline, because if they're not observing it, what, what are the likely uh, positive disciplines that we can, we can apply? Because the um, reason why I'm saying this is when I told my son, um, 9 p.m. is bedtime, they've understood, okay, this is our routine now. But when it was 9 p.m., I was now going on my Bible, reading my Bible. My son just quickly turned the, uh, the TV. He turned the TV to um, Christian channel. He started watching um, um, Christian cartoon. He was not watching Christian cartoon before. So I said to my son, um, you need to go to bed now. But my son said, but now mom is reading Bible, but I'm watching Christian cartoon. So it's like what is applicable to mommy is applicable to him as well. So, and I really did not understand how to um, to what to say in that case so i only want to understand that when they are not observing our core values how do we what type of um um positive um disciplines that we can apply thank you yeah let me uh, thank you everybody good to see you again and i'm so glad to know that um uh, we are implementing all our discussions and also I want um, to empathize with everyone who has been affected one word or the other. So let's talk about what Nikke said. Um, remember, this is, this is the first week that you, you explain this to them. So it will take time to sink in. So you have to give them, keep on emphasizing it. Then you also need to emphasize, like, for example, you can give that your boy is a very intelligent boy. He needs much more than just instruction. Let's give an example, like, if there is a football team and they want to win, will everybody be coach? If everybody is the coach, will they win? The child will say no. He says, so who sh what should happen between the coach and the players? Who should call the shots? And they'll say, well, the manager or who said the coach should call the shot. Why do you think they should do that for orderliness? So you say, okay, in our house, we are like a football team. We are a team, a different type of team. So somebody has to call the shot to make sure there's order. So since she knows that, okay, look, so children, you need to sleep certain hours because you are still growing up. You need certain hours at least a child needs up to 10 hours an adult needs about eight six between six and eight so for your bone to grow for you to have rest in your brain and all that so i can sleep less hours than you it is for your good always let them make them know that it is not a punishment because what they are thinking of is that oh you're punishing me to say say look you have the whole day to watch tv Okay, tomorrow you watch this program. I will allow you two hours to watch it. You know, you negotiate in that area without giving up your ground as the mother and the, the, the person who gives authority in the house. So it's just a negotiation. Thank you. Hey everybody, 
Um, I just wanted to share that. Um, I've shared one of the experiences that I had soon after we did the last session. And then during the course of the week, I have also picked uh, the importance of communication. I realized that when, uh, when, when, we are, when we punish without then explaining why we are punishing, it's affecting because my nephew came and he was crying and he's like, okay, so I don't know what it is that I did. You need to tell me what I did. You can't just punish me for nothing. And also on the um, uh, values, we have, we, we also laid out our values. We defined them. We had them, but we didn't know they were values and we have defined them. And uh, what's interesting for me on those is that when I forget, I am reminded. They'll be like, hey, 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 teamwork, teamwork. What's happening? You are supposed to do teamwork. So it's, it's interesting. They are loving it and they're excited. And yeah, this is, this is a great program. Wow, I did not expect that. Thank you, Chido. You just talked about how it's important to clarify when we are disciplined. We, we try to stay away from punishment because we have the, the you know, the back of your mind. It's like, I want to make them pay. But discipline is like a disciple. You're showing them that it can be better. So you, I, what I picked from what you said is that we need to clarify why we are um, instilling that discipline. Of I said that I haven't had the opportunity in the first place to have this kind of program when i move in newly to uk mm. so i should recommend in the future um, the main target will be those of us that come newly to uk i regretted it because i uh, haven't known what i have known now mm. if i have had this course in the first place, when I entered the UK, I wouldn't have had the, uh, I would have been in a mess that I am now. So uh, it's a good course, so I will recommend to all, all and sundry. So I haven't implemented yet okay. because uh, I'm uh, incapacitated in the in a way that I don't have the children at heart to at in my hand now to implement. Uh, but it's a good it's a good program i recommend Fantastic. some of the things i took away say mental health is very important we should help our children to connect and we should look out for the cues cues you know i remember pastor chica spelling it out <laughs> um some of them might be indifferent all of a sudden always teary always withdrawn isolated silent and um, maybe because they've always been blamed so that makes them defensive some of them are secretive. Somebody, she talked about somebody, you know, a boy, someone said, I don't like your underwear. And then he was so angry at home, but his parents did not understand, you know. So we should always engage our children at every stage, treat them with respect. If you treat them anyhow, they're probably learning from us. They learn from what we do more than what we say. Um, um, all I can you just let Olori in. Thank you. I'll let her in, don't worry. I should try and carry them along, explain everything. That's what Nana was Nana Haja was talking about. Even if you're moving house, even if you're, you know, want to move a new job or change the timetable, don't just drop it on them. The people direct them. And I said, Oh, I've told my daughter, somebody said to keep telling her again and again. She's a child. Um, and then this is where we talked about what are the three core things that are foundational? Because Pastor Chica kept saying how people assume. You think the children know what time to come home, but they don't. So they come home later, and then you are like in a fit. But you never communicated clearly in an age-appropriate way. spoken last week, my yeah. family and I, so some of my our values, we have respect, we have love, and we have the forgiveness. There's mm. many, mm. but out of them, respect, togetherness, forgiveness, and love. Oh, I like that. Pastor Chica said, it is very important to respect their voice. So patience, it is a requirement. So we have to try to spend time with them to train them and not to let them train themselves, mm -hmm. like via uh, social media and all that. Also, what uh, has really uh, appealed to me was on the, the appropriate chastisement because uh, I have this 
caution, a conviction on my DBS because I've used implement on my kids when they were young. Mm -hmm. So I've learned a lot on these appro appropriate chastisements like discipline, casting with the child, make them understand whenever they make the they made mistake, make them understand the implication or the consequences and giving giving them another opportunity. So that was really, really my a big lesson I've learned in that uh, subject. When 